Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna paint this little blue jay. And let's start with a large brush. I'm gonna take a size nine filbert. And I wanna start off with a wash of a mid-tone value. I'm gonna use this light blue color. I wanna add quite a bit of water to it so it's transparent. Then I'm just going to put this all over the bird. And if you want this sketch, you can find it in the link below. Just go ahead and print it out and sketch along. Paint along, rather. Okay, we're just covering up the area. Going over all those pencil lines. And I'm kind of moving my brush strokes in the direction of form as I go. Kind of moving with the shape of the body and the shape of the feathers. I just want to cover all of this area. Don't want any white spots of the paper to show through. Okay, and as that's drying a little bit, let's move to the feet. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush for that. Let's use a size six round brush with that nice point. And for this, we could do kind of a gray color. So we'll take some white and mix a little bit of black in there and then try to add that to the feet. And you can turn your paper so that you can really get the point of the brush into that small little point of the claw and the toes. Just take your time. Pause the video if you need to go a little bit slower so that you can get clean edges and nice clean brush strokes. Okay, so then we'd want that to dry completely. And it feels pretty dry already. That acrylic is drying nice and quickly, so I'm gonna move on. So next I just want a darker value. So let's take some of this light blue color and let's mix up, let's see, I have, this is my ultramarine blue. Let's see if we can mix a little bit of that into the light blue and get a little darker color for some shading. So let's try to put some just put that darker color in areas where I want the shadows to be. So kind of around the wing, just adding some shadow. And I can kind of go along with my sketch. Look at where those pencil lines are kind of decide where a shadow should be. Just trying to give him some three-dimensional shape. I'm gonna go around the lines here of the wings. Then we can kind of blend the brush strokes in as well. Just kind of build that form. Okay, and then along the wings here, let's put, I'm gonna take a little more ultramarine and see if we can take just the tip of the brush. 
See if we can make some lines here with where the wings are. Okay, and I might do a darker, I have this other blue. Maybe mix that into it and see if we could put some lines with this shade. Just trying to give some kind of variety of color, kind of going with the strokes of the directions of the little feathers. You can see how that variety and blue tone just kind of adds a little more interest to the piece, makes it more dynamic so we don't have everything just in one color. You can put a little dark value at the bottom. Okay, and now let's add some of these even darker values. So I'm gonna put the black of the eye and I'm staying with this size six round brush. So we'll take some black paint, just trying to carefully put in the eye and there's some black Kind of a ring of black at the top and then at the bottom as well. We'll put that in. And then this line here is in black. I'm just kind of feathering the tip of that brush just to get some texture and almost the appearance of feathers. And then we'll bring that black into the beak and then up here it's quite a bit darker just putting in these dark values and then it comes down here we'll get a little bit more black And then this little part is going to be in shadow. It's kind of more dark little feathers along the bottom. Okay, and those pieces actually kind of connect. All right, and then I'm going to put, let's put a lighter value for the Gonna mix up a gray shade for that other part of the beak. So the top is kind of a, let's go a little bit lighter. Just kind of get the top of that beak. Then we can put highlights in afterwards. This part is black as well. Okay, so I think we have all of the dark areas kind of mapped out. Let's actually add some black, maybe to the, add some to the legs. The feet, I usually try not to make the feet too detailed. So it's not really our focal point. Okay, and then let's put, I have a dark value over here. I wanna put a little bit more black right here to kind of show some of the um, kind of shapes of the wing. Maybe a little bit at the bottom. Okay, and I'm actually going to paint in all the way in that eye, just paint it all the way black. Okay, so that's a good base layer. Let's let that dry completely and then we'll come back and put some lighter values.
So I'm noticing that we need a little bit more blue around the face. So let's take this light blue and then that darker blue and then just put some of this blue paint kind of around the eye area. Can feather some up here. And then maybe over here. Okay, just needed a little bit more blue in these certain areas. Okay, so now let's switch to a larger brush. I'm gonna take my Filbert. Let's actually take this size six. No, we'll take the size nine filbert is what I wanted. And let's add some white paint. And let's see if we can put in the feathers over here. So I'm just kind of making these feather shapes with my filbert brush. Going on top of that darker paint just kind of feathering out and I'm going to do that over here and over here in some places then underneath the tail we could do a little bit of white Okay, and then let's take, we'll go back to the size six round and let's get some white paint along the beak. So that's just kind of sculpting the shape, making it look more three-dimensional. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a smaller filbert. We'll try the size four and work with some of the white around the face. So around that eye, we'll put in some feathers. And then underneath here, we have a lot of feathers, whites of the feathers. And then over here. Okay. And then around that eye, I'm going to put a little bit of white around it. Just kind of sculpt the eye. And just kind of put your highlights, kind of going in and putting highlights where I need to. Okay, and then I'm going to take, let's actually let that dry completely. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take my size zero spotter and put in that little highlight on the eye right now. I want it right here. Okay, so let's let this dry and then we'll come back and kind of put some glazes on top. Okay, so I'm gonna take a large brush. I'm gonna use my size nine filbert and let's do some glazing here. So I have this cerulean blue, which is this really bright electric blue. It's a color I don't use too often, but I think for the blue jay, it's gonna work nicely. So let's see if we could put some of this blue right over the wings here. and maybe over the head. Just getting a beautiful glaze. Where we want that nice bright blue. OK, 
Okay, and then the belly is pretty white. So I'm gonna come down here a little more, maybe a little bit around the eye. And then this part is pretty much white, so I'm just gonna leave that white for now. Okay, that's a really beautiful glaze and it looks so bright. I really like how that turned out. I'm gonna take this size four filbert and I want a little bit of gray paint. Take some white with a little black. I just want to glaze over this part of the beak because it's just sticking out a little bit too much. So I'm just knocking it back. Okay. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I just want to take, let's take some black and kind of restate this part. That got lost a little bit. Okay, kind of step back and look at the piece and see what you need to add to it. Okay, and for a final step, I have this size four filbert. I'm gonna take some white paint and after this blue layer has dried, I'm gonna try to pop in some of these marks. So I'm doing kind of a short and then a long short and then longer, short and then longer. And that's just kind of a distinctive marking of the Blue Jay. Okay, and that's pretty much all you need to do there. Okay, so we're gonna call this complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.